Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want us to talk about Robinhood, specifically their IPO that's going public today. So, for those of you guys that have been in the market and investing, you must have heard about Robinhood. This company is finally making their debut um, on the NASDAQ. So, that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Robinhood, guys, most of you guys probably recognize the name of the company. Uh, if you're investing, you must have heard about them, especially when we had this meme stock craze uh, go around and we had AMC, GameStop, and all this meme stock. Robinhood was at the forefront of that particular situation because of some of the practices that they did during that period. If you guys remember the story where uh, people got GameStop, they could not buy more, they can only sell, which kind of pushed the price of the stock down. And most people were so mad at Robin Hood that that was a collusion with Wall Street to try to cheat people on Main Street or, or retail investors. So again, they took advantage of that, which is publicity. A lot of people heard about Robin Hood and now they are attacking the, the company public to, to their advantage. So um, again, in this video, I want to tell you guys my game plan for the IPO and what I anticipate moving forward. Again, Robin Hood is a company that I don't need to kind of explain to you guys what they do. It's just an investment company. So basically what they do is they provide a platform where people can start investing in the stock market. A lot of people uh, that are not investing yet, um, Robin Hood makes it easy because they are one of the companies that came in and started the whole commission free uh, investing uh, a universe so now pretty much every uh, broker out there right now does uh, free investing of co commission free investing Robinhood actually were the pioneers there um, other companies like M1 SoFi Acon Stockpile Vanguard TD Ameritrade name it everybody is getting into this space and then the other thing that has um, kind of started with Robinhood and the other brokers is the fact they started doing fractional shares a company like stockpile started fractional shares and then Robinhood uh, got into it as well and so you have the ability to trade commission free fractional shares but um, you guys know my take and I've done videos here on the channel guys um, Robinhood actually messed me up so I'm still mad at the company I left the company or the platform a while back just because of the, the, the stuff that I was getting there the mistreatment that I was getting there and also the fact that these guys in my personal opinion uh, colluded with Wall Street even though they, they, they wouldn't come out and say it oh I forgot to mention you can also trade uh, crypto on Robinhood um, but I'm still mad at the company. So right now I don't have a Robin Hood. I'm not using it per se for any investing because I moved my stuff out of it. But again, if there's an opportunity to trade, then I can definitely trade because I'm going to trade it just like any other stock because it's not the company itself. It is the market that I'm trading. So what's my game plan for this stock? Uh, the IPO is currently scheduled to go out right now. I think that the debut price is set at $38. But you guys know how this usually works. At $38, this thing is going to come out inflated. Um, so you're looking somewhere at about $45 to $50 at open. And then you might see a spike to maybe $60 and then before that pullback. So if you are somebody that's excited about Robinhood and you want to invest in the company, I would say don't invest right at IPO because most often than not, you would see a spike and then pullback. So even if you get into the IPO, take some profit and then wait when this thing pulls back because that is usually the case spike and then settle down and then that's what you can get in so you can look at like coinbase and all these other companies that ipo that is the plan that's how it's always gone it spikes up and then then pull back and then for you that's looking to go long term that's when you can jump in and invest long term so that would be a simple plan here for me i'm just looking at an opportunity to trade i don't plan on investing in robin hood long term but i'm definitely going to trade it if i see the, the proper opportunity so i'm going to keep my eyes open as soon as this ipo goes live um i'm going to see what i can get there again i'm going to be very smart about it though so the ticket symbol here is h O O D. So HUD, Robin Hood. So H O O D. That's the ticket symbol that it's going to be trading under. So if you don't really have it, if you go, your broker would probably have it, but it's not going to be trading. So the stock is not tradable. So definitely put the ticket symbol on your watch list. 
again, like I said, there's no specific time when this thing is going to start trading because um, they don't really give you that time. It just usually opens around. Again, in my experience, most IPOs uh, start somewhere between 11 and 1 p.m. Central Time. That's my time, uh, my time zone. So definitely figure out what works for you. And um, in, in other cases, you can also put like a, a, an order, a limit order as to what price you feel comfortable buying. So let's say it opens at 38 and you feel comfortable, you can put an order at 38.50 so that if it opens, uh, if, it, if it feels your gut, if it doesn't, then you can now start looking for ways to get back in. But definitely don't be a chaser in this one. So that is my take uh, when it comes to, to Robinhood. So again, guys, Robinhood, it's one of many brokers that there is out there. Again, like I said, from Stockpile to M1 to Weibo, just name it, to Acoin. There are so many different uh, platforms out there that you can trade on. Robinhood is really giving credit to themselves that they are the simplest platform that people can start investing in. Uh, again, the jury is out uh, on them for that. Uh, I'll let you, those of you that use Robinhood to be the judge here, it's not, they, they have that claim. I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not disputing that the claim is bad, but again, I am not a, a current user of Robinhood because I left the, the platform. Again, just from an investment standpoint, I don't know if uh, a lot of investors are re they've gotten over the fact that Robinhood did what they did during that uh, meme stock craze. If they have, and then there's probably an opportunity here, but I don't see this as a massive opportunity long term just because of the, the, the space. There's so many uh, companies that are competing in that space. And again, Robinhood can come out on top. I'm not saying that it can't. Me personally, I'm not going to be investing in this one long term. And I could be wrong. You cannot win them all, but this is one that I'm going to be trading, but definitely I don't plan on investing in this one long term. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Do you plan on investing in Robinhood long term? If yes, let me know what your game plan is uh, for this stock. Do you plan on buying IPO or waiting for a dip? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are getting started with investing, I personally right now recommend Weibo uh, to get you started. Um, you can invest and you can trade on the platform, which I like. So I'll put the links in the description below. And if you sign up and deposit $5, you get two free stocks at no cost to you. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. And stay motivated.